Makunik Village, a 1,500-year-old village, home to an ancient city of dwarfs. Makunik Village is one of the seven amazing world villages because of its remarkable architecture. It is known as Lilliput Land because of the short residence there. Far away in South Khorasan Province, Iran, up until around a century ago, some of the residents of Mahunik, a 1,500-year-old village roughly 75 kilometer west of the Afghan border, measured a mere meter in height, approximately 50 centimeters shorter than the average height at the time. This assumption is supported by the observation that 70 or 80 of the approximately 200 stone and clay homes in this town are relatively short in height. These houses have doorways that are too narrow to enter without stooping down and are around 150 centimeters high. That's why it is sometimes referred to as Nostalgic Lilliput, an imaginary country inhabited by people about 15 centimeter tall, as being described in Irish author Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. In the past, Makunik faced significant challenges due to its remote location and difficult, unproductive land. These conditions made activities like building structures and raising animals very tough and demanding for the people who lived there. The roots of this situation can be traced back to a few factors. Firstly, some point to poor nutrition and not having enough of the right kinds of food to eat. The people of Makanik survived by eating straightforward vegetarian meals, like kashkbene, which is made from whey and a specific kind of pistachio found in the mountains, and poktik, a mixture of dried whey and turnip. This problem was made worse by drinking water that had mercury in it, which is a harmful substance. Secondly, because the community was quite far from other places, some families ended up marrying their own relatives. This might have increased the chances of some people having genes that could cause dwarfism more often in this community. As a result, dwarfism became more common among the people living there. In 2005, a mummified body, only 25 centimeters long, was discovered in the region. This find led some to believe that this remote area of Iran, which includes 13 villages, including Makunik, might have been an ancient city of dwarves. However, experts have confirmed that the mummy was actually a premature baby who passed away around 400 years ago. Nevertheless, they do agree that people in Makunik from earlier generations were generally shorter than what we consider usual. Despite being approximately 1,500 years old, the architecture in Makunik gives the impression of dating back even further, perhaps around 10,000 years. The village's simple houses maintain ancient designs crafted from materials like wood, mud, stone, and thatch. These houses are nestled in a hollow on the hillside, with the main room situated about one meter below ground level. As a result, they often require stairs to connect the entrance to the ground floor. These houses vary in size, ranging from 1.5 to 3 meters wide and 3 times that in length, typically with a ceiling height of about 1.5 meters. Each house includes a small storage room for barley and wheat, along with a compact stove for cooking. There are also several tiny rooms for housing animals and storing equipment, Additionally, there are spaces like a living room, bedroom, kitchen, and even a knitting workshop. Despite their small size, these houses can comfortably accommodate families of up to eight people, and residents find no issues with their living conditions. Hence, it's important for us to maintain a sense of gratitude, as many of us live in roomy homes with all the essential amenities right in the heart of the city. While these small houses may appear modest, constructing them was no simple task. The residents' shorter stature wasn't the sole reason for building smaller homes. In those times, it was challenging to find domestic animals large enough to pull wagons, 
and proper roads were scarce. This meant that locals had to transport building supplies by hand over long distances. Opting for smaller homes made sense because they required fewer materials and less effort. Moreover, despite their snug size, these smaller houses were easier to heat and cool compared to larger ones. They also blended in more naturally with the landscape, making them less conspicuous to potential invaders. In 2006, Makunik was home to approximately 125 families, totaling around 700 people. It is believed that these families originally hailed from Sunni Afghan backgrounds and migrated to this area many centuries ago. Over time, they established a rather insular community, with limited contact with people beyond this region. This community encompassed several villages, including Mahunik, Tutak, Lejunak, Damdame, Jalaru, among others. For many generations, the residents in these villages shared similar religious beliefs and ways of life. However, this began to change about 50 years ago. One distinctive feature of these villagers was their shared practice of abstaining from both tea and meat consumption. Since childhood, nobody in these villages consumed tea. In fact, if someone happened to drink tea, they would jestingly label them as an addict, playfully alluding to the stereotype that opium addicts were known for their excessive tea consumption. Their vegetarian lifestyle was primarily a result of their complete isolation due to the surrounding mountains. However, as the area gradually became more accessible and discovered, changes started to occur. With the government opening up roads and providing essential facilities, including transportation links to nearby cities, the people in these isolated villages found newfound opportunities. They could now reach the nearest towns and access a wider variety of food. They finally can eat rice and chicken, even McDonald's. I'm kidding. Younger members of the community began to venture into nearby towns, earning money and bringing back both food and resources. This influx of outside influence gradually improved the living conditions in these villages, transforming them for the better. In the past, the people of Makunik were typically shorter and had stockier bodies. Today, there has been a noticeable shift, with most of the current residents having taller and leaner bodies. However, despite this transformation, Reminders of their ancestors' shorter stature still linger, serving as a lasting testament to the heritage of this unique community. In conclusion, the village's distinctive architecture and rich historical background hold significant untapped potential for tourism. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative and entertaining, please consider hitting the subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll become a part of our lively community and stay updated with our latest content, ensuring you never miss out on the fun and knowledge. Stay curious and stay connected.